Greetings all you maniacs of the mind, my name is Manic Rhymes, and today I'm going to be talking about depression and the easiest way that, you know, just ways that could probably help you if you're feeling down. Now, before I get into this, I just want to apologize I had no video yesterday. There was hella construction going on outside right next to my studio, and um, man, it was loud as hell the entire house was shaking it was crazy they fixed the driveway so yay i don't know but here are some tips that i have for you if you are in fact going through rough times just depression but i just want to say that these are not going to work for everyone everyone's depression is unique so first things first Figure out what makes you depressed. Like, what is getting you down? And if you can, just ignore that stupid thing. If people are, you know, giving you crap in high school or what, wherever, just ignore the bastards. They're probably worse off than you, which, yeah, I know, kind of sucks, but fuck them. But another thing that really helped me through my rough times was simply just Focusing on the positives of life. What is going good for you? Don't focus on any of the negative. Ignore the negative and only focus on the positive. Now again, not all this doesn't work for everyone, but it definitely worked for me and some of my friends in high school. Oh, this is getting me down. That's getting me down. But what is, what is bringing you up? Like, did you just get into a nice relationship? Did your parents just get a raise? Something like that. Just focus on on everything that is good and positive in life. Because for all the negatives, there's more positives. It might not seem that way, especially when you're depressed. Trust me, I've been there. But it's the truth. The negatives are usually just really small things that dig into you. Don't let that happen. Another thing. If you have to cry then cry. If you have to beat the crap out of a pillow, beat the crap out of, out of a pillow and get all your aggression out. Do not bottle up your emotions. For God's sake, don't bottle up your emotions. And if you're a big tough guy going through, going through stuff, it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel emotions. Crying will make you feel better. It will. Trust me. Just cry it out. Cry a river. Beat the crap out of a pillow until it goes into a coma. Do something. Do not bottle up your emotions. Can that, that can only result in disaster. I had a friend that bottled his emotions for about 10 years when he was depressed. Because he was depressed for a very long time. I hope he's better now. I don't know where he is. But it boiled over one day and he beat the everlasting crap out of someone. You don't want that to happen. No one wants that to happen. So let your emotions out in a positive, healthy way. I know crying isn't, you know, positive, but it would it's gonna, you're going to feel better if you cry. Another little thing that you can do to make yourself feel better is just to smile. It may seem small and trivial, but if you just smile, you'll feel better. I don't know why it works. There's probably some psychology in there, but it does. If you're all sad and everything, just put on a smile and you will feel better. It sounds really odd. Even when I'm saying it, it sounds ridiculous. It truly, truly sounds absurd. Like, really? Just the simple act of smiling can make you feel better? Yeah. And the final thing. Talk to someone about what you're going through. Don't go through it alone. I went through it alone. And that was horrible. If you need help, you need help. Now, don't immediately run to antidepressants because... 
I swear to God, every single person I've ever known that went on antidepressants actually got more depressed because of them. And then they were prescribed more medication, more money, and they were basically having pills for meals. You don't want to live that way. Talk to your parents. Talk to friends. Talk to whoever about exactly what's going on with you. Don't go through it alone like I did. It was horrible going through it alone. I got through it alone through sheer will, but don't go through it alone. Find someone, anyone that you can trust to talk to and don't immediately run for antidepressants. If you need medication, then you need medication. But if you don't absolutely have to have it, then you don't have to have it. I almost went on medication. Here's a little side story. I went to a therapist for my depression. I said, oh, I'm feeling down. I'm feeling like, you know, I'm a little worthless. I'm feeling, you know, very paranoid about everything. So he he tried to put me on antipsychotics, antidepressants, freaking sleeping medication, and pills to perk me up. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I nearly slapped the guy in the face. And he didn't even really, he, he was just looking at his pen and paper and going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, tell me something more. He wasn't even listening to me. Some therapists are jerks. Don't rely on them. If you have to, you have to. But don't immediately run to medication. I'm not saying all meds are bad. Hell no. Pills are great. Medication is wonderful. It's amazing what we can do with certain chemical compounds. But you don't, if you don't need them, you don't need them. So I hope this entertained you or, you know, maybe even helped you. So I would like to do more videos of this because I have been through, I've been through stuff, a lot of stuff. I've been both bullied, cyber bullied. I've been, you know, harassed. I've been I got the shit kicked out of me a few times. I've just been through a lot, dude. Like, man, I could write a book on all the shit I've been through. But, you know, I hope this does, in fact, help you if you are going through rough times. Depression is, it's horrible. It is one of the most just batshit crazy things that a person can get themselves into. Why does it happen? Why do we get depressed? It's so confusing. It's so weird. And it's horrifying that your emotions can overpower you. Don't let them. Anyway, there's people that care about you. There's people that care about you. So. On a side note, I am going to be taking a break from Souls, so that's cool. Maybe tomorrow I'll do more Subnautica Hardcore, or play more Road Redemption, something. I know I've been playing too much Dark Souls. I'm sorry. I've been playing through Dark Souls 1 myself, and it's hard, and it made me pee myself a little bit. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment, and remember, entropy. We trust.